In this video, we're going to be talking about the Clone Stamp tool, which is a really powerful brush tool within Photoshop that allows us to basically copy pixels from one area to another area dynamically as if we were painting with a photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Clone Stamp tool. You can get to it by pressing S on your keyboard or going below the Brush tool, Clone Stamp tool. And I'm going to just start it by making a new layer calling it clone stamp layer. Remember we're doing this non-destructively, so we're always going to do everything on a new layer. So our new layer, clone stamp layer. And at the top, we're just going to make sure we have our settings set up. So first we need to pick a brush. We're just going to stick with this typical soft round brush. Uh, I'll show you how to adjust that in a little bit. And I'm going to make sure that sample is set to all layers. Now, just like the Content Aware Move and the Spot Healing Brush, we always want to make sure this is set to all layers. Uh, this one actually has a little bit more variety. You can have it do current and below, meaning that you could uh, kind of paint between layers if you wanted to. But in this case, all layers. All right, so the Clone Stamp tool has two stages. It has this stage where by holding down Alt or Option, it changes to a target, to like a little crosshair. And then it has the standard default state, which looks like a brush, just a typical circle brush. So the clone stamp tool needs to sample from one area and then uses the brush to paint in another. So if I hold down Alt or Option on Mac and click, I'm now sampling this rock formation. And watch, as I move my brush, you can see the little preview of that. So for instance, let's click in the sky. So I'm holding down Alt or Option. I click in the sky. And then as I move my mouse around, as I move that brush head, you can see that it is moving a little chunk of sky around. Let's go ahead and click and start painting. And I'm just going to try and cut down some of this rock. Now notice as I'm painting, I'm clicking and holding right now, you see a little plus above my circle my brush circle. That little plus is showing me where I'm actually sampling from. So as I'm still clicking and holding and painting down, what it's doing is it's grabbing from that crosshair area and painting it onto where my brush is. So these two are like almost like two brushes working in tandem. Let's go ahead and sample from a different area. So I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on Mac and click. Notice the sample can get really funky if you don't resample regularly. So I'm going to resample over here. Resample over here. Now it's very easy to, for instance, let's say we were sampling this, to accidentally end up painting below your intention. Right? Go ahead and just undo that. And just make sure you're resampling. So I'm just going back, holding Alt Option, clicking where I want to sample from, and then clicking again. Okay, so this layer is kind of a disaster. Let's go ahead and just delete that and make a new layer. I can do that by hit, holding down Command Shift N. Type in Clone Stamp. I'm going to show you a more practical use of the Clone Stamp tool. So we have our Clone Stamp selected and in an earlier video, we used the Content Aware Move tool to move this tree. Now by moving that tree, we left some little green bits back here that we might want to clean up. Same with the bottom here, it looks a little bit funky. The Clone Stamp is really good at painting patterns, like these kind of you know, rock formations or the sky, for instance, painting that somewhere else to kind of clean it up. So I'm in my Clone Stamp layer. I'm going to go ahead and select my Clone Stamp tool. I can press S on the keyboard to get to it quickly. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on Mac. I'm going to sample from this area. Just make my brush a little bit smaller. So see I have that green just below where my brush is. And I'm just going to paint. There's some green over here. I'm going to just sample from the surrounding area. It's kind of like a more interactive spot healing tool. Here's another piece of green. So I'm kind of just taking chunks and moving them. I notice in this composition, I have this kind of weird glowing border between my foreground and my background edits that I made. You see that? You see the little glowing border like right here? 
So this would be a perfect place to use the clone stamp tool to fix this. So I'm going to just sample some of this red here. I'm just clicking once. I'm going to sample again. See, I'm not going crazy with it. I'm not, it's definitely a slow process. It's something that I want to take my time with. Let's zoom out and see how that looks. Right, it's looking way better. So here's before and after. Right, there's a lot of little areas I could come in here and use the clone stamp to really help out. I'm going to extend the, the kind of chimney on this. So just click. Take a sample. Paint. And this time, I'm going to actually undo that. I'm going to switch to a hard brush so you can see that difference. So the soft brush had this feathering on the edge. The hard brush is going to remove that. Now, since there's a stark contrast between the sky and the mountain, I'm just going to use a hard brush here. So I'm going to switch back to my clone stamp tool. Just like that. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Oh, see, so in that case, I got a little bit of the sky. Oops. So that's a pretty good way to extend this artificially. Now I could come in here and add more details, right? I could try to really kind of spruce this up. But this looks pretty great to me. And again, I always do this on a new layer, so I can always remove it.